my name is Gabe Zollner. Just watching a little bit of The Five on Fox. And I was just amazed how, you know, they're sitting there and they're talking about, they think that Obama's concerned about his legacy. He isn't concerned about his legacy. He isn't that stupid not to realize that he eventually he'll be found out to be a fraud. The legacy is not of concern to him. What is of concern to him is to be able to destroy this country as quickly as he possibly can. He wants to bring in one law, one world order, and run by the Muslim Brotherhood. Yeah, that's what he wants. And so he doesn't care about a library being built like the way Bush did or the way Clinton did. He, he could care less. His objective is to destroy the American way of life. And he is doing a darn good job doing that. The other thing they were talking about is Hillary. Now they're saying that, well, she'll be back on the Hill next week and she can testify on Benghazi. What's she going to testify to? There's nothing that she can say that we don't already know. We know that she lied. We know that Obama lied. We know that Panetta lied. We know that Susan Rice lied. We know that they all lied. So what is she going to testify? What's going to happen is Obama is going to finally come out and do what he did with Fast and Furious. He's going to sign an executive order, executive privilege. He's going to claim executive privilege. He's going to say that there's too much information that is uh, it's need to be protected to protect the American people and no more discussion. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. And as soon as the fiscal cliff thing, either we go over it or it gets resolved or who knows what, the next thing is the debt ceiling. It's one crisis after another. And these crises are all designed to take our focus off of what it needs to be focused on, and that is Benghazi. All right? It's divert, distract, and deceive. That's what they do. They divert, distract, to deceit. That's all they do. And if you follow it right back to when he was even senator, that's all he's ever done. Take the focus off the real issue and put it on something else. And hopefully they'll forget about the real issue. Well, I'm hoping that Congress doesn't forget about Benghazi. I'm hoping that those four Americans that lost their lives will have done so for a purpose and a reason. I also don't understand why no one's ever mentioned anything about the 20 people that were saved. Where are they? How come we haven't heard from not one of them? Pretty crazy, huh? Well, think about it. All right. Obama could care less about his legacy. This administration, all they do is divert, distract, and deceive. And we don't have a clue as to what Hillary is going to do, because it doesn't matter. We know the truth. They're all culpable. They're all guilty. They're all guilty of what? Of conspiracy to murder. That's what they're guilty of. If you take a moment, the weapons that Obama has given to Syria and the weapons that Obama has given into Libya, they've killed thousands of innocent lives. If he wouldn't have given them those weapons, they couldn't have killed those people. Could they have? Think about that one. 